I'm going to take a second to talk to you about underdogs. I know Lane and Chris just talked about this, but I don't think that it's been beat home enough. Howie Roseman, a few years ago, was relinquished of all control pretty much in this organization. He was put in the side, hey, hey, he was put in the side of the building where I didn't see him for over a year. Two years ago, when they made a decision, he came out of there a different man. He came out of there with a purpose and a drive to make this possible. And I saw a different Howie Roseman, an underdog, Doug Peterson. When Doug Peterson was hired, he was rated as the worst coaching hire by a lot of freaking analysts out there in the media. This past offseason, some clown named Mike Lombardi told him that he was the least qualified head coach in the NFL. Doug Peterson, a man who went for it on fourth and down, went for it on fourth and down in the Super Bowl with the trick play. He wasn't playing, playing just to go mediocre. He's playing for a Super Bowl. And it don't stop with him. It does not stop with him. Jason Peters was told he was too old, didn't have it anymore. Before he got hurt, he was the best freaking tackle in the NFL. McVay was told he didn't have it. Stephen Wisniewski ain't good enough. Jason Kelsey's too small. Lake Johnson can't lay off the juice. Brandon Brooks has anxiety. Carson Wentz didn't go to a Division I school. Nick Foles don't got it. Roy Clement's too slow. The Garrett Blood ain't got it anymore. Jay and John can't stay healthy. Tory Smith can't catch. Nelson Aguilar can't catch. Zach Ertz can't block. Brett Selleck's too old. Brandon Graham was drafted too high. Vinny Curry ain't got it. Bo Allen can't fit the scheme. Michael Thomas can't fit the scheme. Nigel Bradham can't catch. Jalen Mills can't cover. Patrick Robinson can't cover. It's the whole team. with a bunch of driven men to accomplish something. We're a bunch of underdogs. And you know what underdogs is? It's a hungry dog. And Jeff Stalin has had this in our building for five years. It's a quote in the O-line room that has stood on the wall for the last five years. Hungry dogs run faster. And that's this team. Bottom line is we wanted it more. All the players, all the coaches, the front office, Jeffrey Lurie, everybody wanted it more. And that's why we're up here today, and that's why we're the first team in Eagles history to hold that freaking trophy. And you know who the biggest underdog is? It's y'all, Philadelphia. For 52 years, y'all have been waiting for this. You want to talk about underdog? You want to talk about a hungry dog? For 52 years, you've been starved in this championship. You know what's up. You know what's up. Everybody wonders why we're so mean. Everybody wonders why the Philadelphia Eagles are, aren't the nicest fans. If I don't eat breakfast, Jay Ajay just said.